Governor Kate Brown spoke moments ago about the state's response to the coronavirus pandemic. Elise Haas was there. She joins us live with more details. Elise. Jenny and Ken, so public health officials and the governor say there is certainly a rise in COVID cases in Oregon, especially in the last month. And they do say that this was to be expected, especially after the Labor Day weekend when people are gathering, but also those intense wildfires that pushed thousands of people from their homes and into parking lots and displaced them for days and weeks. So with that, the Governor Brown just wrapped her wrapped up her press conference a moment ago, and that's where she really warned the public that as we head into the winter months and things are going to be colder, people are going to be staying inside more, as well as the flu season, that things are only going to get harder. So she says that hand washing, mask wearing, and social distancing remains dire. It doesn't even matter if you're president of the United States. COVID can find a way to any of us. The biggest updates from Governor Brown is that the state is going to be receiving 100 million COVID tests through the end of the year. Governor Brown said that this is huge. That's roughly 80,000 to 60,000 rapid tests per week. The rapid test can give you results in 15 minutes. So with this influx of resources, public health officials are expanding testing guidelines now. They're recommending that not only people with COVID-19 symptoms get tested, but all close contacts be tested as well, regardless if they have symptoms or not. This is going to be huge, and they say this will help them contain COVID and stop it from spreading. Also, they're going to be focusing on the most vulnerable communities first, starting with those who were affected by the wildfires, then going on to the communities of color and migrant workers, who we know have all been hit very hard by this virus. And because they don't know how long the tests will last, they are also going to prepare a strategic reserve of tests to maintain testing beyond December in case the federal government doesn't send more. And we know that people really want to get their kids back to school. That is the biggest question on all parents' minds. And the thing is, the public health experts say that kids cannot go back to school unless we contain and stop the spread of COVID within our communities. So Governor Governor Brown and the public health officials promised that school administrators and the public health experts are going to be reevaluating the school metrics in the coming weeks, especially now that they do know that they have these tests coming in. They promise to have an update on schools very soon. Of course, we'll bring that to you. Reporting live, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.